All right, Wisco Ripping fans, I just uh, got done editing the video and I just wanted to let you know that uh, the audio does kind of suck in this video. Um, the new camera that I have was in a case and I never used it before, so you got a lot of echoing going on. Bear with me, it's not a long video, uh, but a lot of information in it in winter time running your wheeler. Um, this is the case that I, w that I was using with the, with the camera. So it muffles, muffles a lot of the... A lot of talking and then while we're on the players general um, if you don't have one of these big manuals I suggest get one uh, when I pur purchased this manual I think earlier this year is about a hundred bucks I mean well worth it a lot of information in here all right let's go ripping fans we just had Christmas in Wisconsin and we've had the very cold stint just come through with that very cold stint I just want to show you what I do with my wheeler uh, when I store it and how I charge the battery uh, with that got some issues now so let's just start off with it's been very cold and in the winter time I do have it hooked up to a little battery maintainer I just got this from the local hardware store Moto Power Battery Maintainer 1000 and if you read here uh, it's just a uh, dial put 12 volt DC 1.5 at 5 amps so it's nothing major just enough to uh, keep the charge going I do have the leads hardwired to the battery and then just with a pigtail sticking out uh, with that one in the cold, do have a check engine light. Uh, as I've read in my manual, or the main the main book that I had to buy separate, the check engine light does not get stored in the system. So therefore, when you push and hold the mode button, what I found out is it only goes to options. It does not go into the diagnostic uh, option to click to get that code. So I'm going to drive around a little bit. It will be in limp mode, but as you can see, once you hold the uh, options, the diagnostic option should should show up, but it's not. I've had this idling for a little bit. It's at 183. Check engine light is on. When, when the code did go off, the numbers that I was able to pull was 520305. I don't know if there's any numbers that were above it or below it at the time I'm not I could not exactly find what that means I did google some stuff on on the internet um, whether it was I think it kind of came up with a cam sensor or something but it's cold I've had I've had some other issues with this vehicle that I have not taken care of yet I have found the, pro, uh, the problem is that it, it starts every it starts most of the time and every once in a while it'll crank it'll crank it'll crank and I have to I have to give it gas for it to start. I've pulled up uh, the fuel pump that looks fine. I've tested the fuel pressure. Uh, fuel pressure goes to the rail that seems fine. I'm trying to keep it simple as it might be a battery issue. I'm going to start with a battery battery issue first. I just haven't got there yet. Uh, it's never leaving me stranded. Uh, in the severe cold when that check engine light did go off it w every time I would uh, I'd start it it would probably run for a couple seconds and then it just shut down until I'd give it gas and I forced it to start and I was able to get it in limp mode when the code popped and just park it in the garage here so yeah like I said it starts it runs every just every once in a while it just it'll have good crank and not pop off I did uh, during the summer I did change the spark plugs everything seems to check out um, I did contact Gilliman probably about six months ago or so and they told me to uh, get the valves checked obviously I broke this in properly I've never had it taken to the dealer for for valve issues or anything like that but now I'm going to have to to get uh, this out of limp mode so it is what it is but I think I'm gonna start with a battery first even though it is two years old battery should be alright the battery does check out the voltmeter on the 
on the dash it actually checks out with the voltmeter that I had separate. So everything seems to be working right. Every once in a while does the battery just kind of take a crap and not have enough uh, cranking amps to start? I have no idea. So that's where we're at here. Wisco ripping, check engine light. I'm going to drive it around here the yard in limp mode just to see if uh, I can get the code to blow again. Put it in four so I don't get stuck. I just went off. I'm in reverse. That's the only thing I've done. But when it was severe cold out, and I was putting it in the different, uh, going from low to high, that's when the engine would, would kill on me. So I'm going to go from reverse to low here. Engine hasn't died on me. Like I said, my guess was it was just extreme cold. I haven't touched this thing in about three days since I had that code go off. It just sat with that charger on. Let's scroll back to bolts. Bolts are still good. Let's uh, play with the winch a little bit. Bolts will drop. Stator's obviously working. Huh. They're back in. Go in reverse. Now I actually turn it. Now that it's working properly, I'm going to actually turn this around just so I'm ready for the next snowfall here. Backing it into the garage. If anybody needs to know, this thing does plow like a dream. I've not had any issues plowing. Yes, every once in a while it does suck going from reverse to low. Very hard to, uh, to move the shift lever every once in a while, but. It is what it is. Brakes get froze up a little bit, so everything seems to be working. I've had this warmed up probably for about 15 minutes before I came out here to shoot this video. So Like I said, check engine light now went off live, um, but I still do have an issue where it won't start all the time. It'll crank. I thought a, a brake pressure switch, that's not the issue. I don't have any issues with that. I don't think I have any battery issues, but I want to I keep it simple. I do get fuel to the rail. I do get uh, uh, good, good fuel pressure. There's nothing wrong with the fuel pump when I when I took it out and looked at it. Nothing was collapsed. The fuel filter was a little yellow, but nothing nothing to be concerned about. Obviously, your gas is discolored too. So, if anybody has any opinions, their opinion of, of every once in a while why this why this thing won't start, it's actually more cold blooded in the winter time where I have a lot of problems with it not wanting to start compared to starting it in the winter time compared to the summer time. Even even when I have it uh, plugged in, so I just I just want to keep it simple and think it's think it's maybe a battery issue, but yeah, she just she's got good crank, she's got bolts, she's got gas, 
The only way I do, I guess maybe I haven't said it, the only way I do get it started is uh, giving it gas, is throttling the, the gas pedal a little bit and then it'll pop off. To me it idles fine, maybe it's not idling fine. Uh, like I said, Gilliman told me to uh, get the valves checked out, see if there's a clearance issue. So we'll see what happens throughout the rest of the winter when I can get this thing in. All right. Like, subscribe, comment on uh, your thoughts of what's going on with the machine. 2020 Polaris XP General. I love the machine. Treats me well. Had great times in it. And have a good Christmas. Ho happy holidays.